Rub up your engines! <laughs> it's time for the Scotty Kilmer Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the insane complexity of modern cars. Now realize in modern cars almost everything is run by computers. From the variable valve timing of the engine, to the shifting of the automatic transmissions, heck even the air conditioning systems are run by computers. And when these computer systems break down as all electronic systems do, you need to use another computer to analyze and fix them. Now of course there's cheap little scan tools like this Chinese unit, they can give you a reasonable amount of information, but if you want OEM factory level analysis, you need a serious tester like this auto tester. Because when the check engine light doesn't come on but the vehicle still has a problem, you need a machine that can go deep into the electronics and find where the fault is. Now the auto test is a pass through device. One end plugs into the data port under the dash and the other end plugs into your laptop. You just go to the auto test symbol and click on it and it turns itself on. There it is. And check out all the makes, it does Chrysler, Ford, GM and most of the major Japanese manufacturers. Now it doesn't do European and here's why. The American and the Japanese manufacturers don't charge that much to let them use their software because they build cars that they want to be able to get fixed at different places. And if you ask me that's a smart move. Why would you want to make a car that's hard to fix because then people will say I'm not going to buy another one of those, it was too hard to fix, nobody could fix it. But most of the European manufacturers think the opposite. They want to make cars that's hard to get the software for, so you got to take it to the dealer and they can rip you off fixing them. They don't want everybody to be able to fix their cars. They have a snob attitude. And that's yet another reason I advise people to buy Japanese or American cars instead of those European money pit machines. Now going back to the tool, we'll click on Honda because this is a Honda. And it's figured out that it's a 2000 Honda CRV, which is what it is. And now you can get into a whole range of things, the powertrain, the body control, the chassis control, or the DTC health. When we click on the health, it automatically tests the machine. It's not running through a bunch of automated tests. See what's going on. And as you can see, it does some serious checking of all the systems. And in the end, everything checked okay, which I know because there's no problems with this car anyways. But when there is a problem, check on powertrain, look at all the choices you got. You can go through the PGM electronic fuel system, automatic transmission, four wheel drive system, active torque transfer and drive by wire electronic throttle. Check this out, we'll click on the automatic transmission. It can give you all kinds of data, diagnostic codes, tests, information on the module and even an extended snapshot picture of it. If it's got a problem you can take a picture of the data and see what's wrong. We'll click on a function here. And as you can see here, you can actually test the pressure control solenoids inside the transmission. You're not going to be able to do any of those tests on a cheap scan tool. This is a serious tool that does serious analysis. And look at all the data it can give you. Not only can it give you all this data, it can graph it, it can record it. And the data itself is broken to sections. Let's see you got an AC problem. You would just click on the AC button. Then up pops the relevant AC information. You know you don't have to look it up. And if you're working on a really modern vehicle like this 2015 Ford EcoBoost pickup truck, you're going to really need a tool like that to get the information on the EcoBoost GDI fuel injection system and even on the power steering system because this uses electronic power steering. It doesn't have a pump. And of course, the electronic power steering is all controlled by computers. So as these modern vehicles get more and more complex, you need a more complex computer to repair them with. Now I know people are going to whine when they hear the price. This tool goes for about $2,000. But you got to consider that it does 12 different manufacturers at a 95% OEM data level. If you bought those OEM equipment, that would cost you over $100,000. And it's not some cheap Chinese knockoff. This baby is made in Canada with legal software. Heck, my hockey skates, they were designed in Canada, but even they were made in China. And hey, if you're leery and you want to take it for a spin, they got a deal now. You can lease them for 99 bucks a month to see if you like them. And believe it or not, these guys actually have a 187 number that they answer and give technical information that's great. I guess that's a Canadian thing. They care about what they're doing. So if you're having problems fixing modern cars, you might want to give one of these auto test units a try. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. 
And I'll answer him if I ever get tired of driving this Mustang. <laughs>